Well, good evening, everybody. My name's Guy Lister. I'm part of Northgate Church. I hope you're enjoying our Chris Dingle service so far and having lots of fun. I'm in my garden. I'm next to our nativity scene that we put up every year where we live. And we've got some angels and a star, which I'll show you. Jenny and Claire have done a great job in showing you how to build your Chris Dingles, explaining all the different parts that make up the Chris Dingles. And I hope you've had fun doing this, not just the children, but maybe the adults too. With the Chris Dingles, if you just had one part on its own, you'd just have an orange, or you'd have a cocktail stick, or you'd have some sweets, or a piece of red ribbon. But when you put them together, that's where you see the big picture, and that's why we put them together to make the big picture of what the Chris Dingle means. It got me thinking about all the parts that make up Christmas. The story, how it comes together and reveals the big picture. Now hopefully if you've received your Chris Dingle pack, you've also got this lovely little book by Bob Hartman. It's called It Begins in Bethlehem. The book is wonderfully written and it's written in rhyme. It tells the Christmas story starting from the moment when the angels visit Mary to tell her that she's going to give birth to a miracle baby, one who will change the world forever. And just like the finished Chris Dingle has all the elements put together to make the whole, the Christmas story has all the elements put together which tells the big story, the big picture. Who's in it? Well, it's the angels who not just directed people to where Jesus would be born, but proclaimed why Jesus was such great news. There was Mary, who didn't really understand what was going on, but was happy to believe that she was part of God's plan, and she was confident to trust God. There was Joseph. He was bewildered, he was confused, but he was reassured by an angelic visitation who told him, it's all going to be okay, Joseph. And then there were the shepherds going about their normal business, on the fields, in the fields with the sheep, but they were captivated by the announcement. There were the wise men who'd been waiting for this moment all their lives. And they finally got to see in the flesh the fulfillment of the prophecies that they'd been studying for many years. And finally, the final part, there was Jesus, the baby Jesus. But the baby Jesus who grew up and became the good news for all mankind. Now these are all familiar um, elements of the Christmas story. But this year, coming at a time where things aren't quite so familiar to us, the pan pandemic that we've been experiencing has really undermined and disrupted a lot of the things that we call familiar and also the things that we call normal. In many respects, some of the classic elements that make up Christmas, shopping, partying, family gatherings, traveling to see people, a lot of these things have been put on hold. I know that things feel really strange. But I want to highlight the key element of Christmas that all Christians will be celebrating because it is about Jesus. That baby who was born in the manger, lived a perfect life, but died a death, took all of our sins upon his shoulders, rose from the dead three days later and is alive today. You see, Jesus is good news, as the angel said, good news for all mankind. And he says to each and every one of us, when things seem to be abnormal, uncertain, unfamiliar, he says, believe in me, trust in me, and I will give you eternal life. I will forgive your sins. That's the promise and the hope we find in Jesus. So when all the elements come together, we see the big picture, the good news of Jesus at Christmas time. I wish you a happy Christmas a happy, a peaceful and a hopeful new year. God bless you.